asking about why I cried through the whole thing? Yeah, yes, 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 <laughs> go ahead, tell us why you cried. I literally sat there and cried through the whole thing because it was a reminder that I needed to take care of me and I'm working on that very strongly. And you talk about that feeling of not something being wrong and you can't figure it out. Having had COVID mm -hmm. after that, there was that brain fog time frame, and mm -hmm. it's just now coming out of it. And this is a reminder that we need to do that. I think the speaker was fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> enthusiastic, encouraging us as well as not just getting up there, getting platitudes, but actually reminding us of the things we needed to hear. How was it? I've got to learn to put myself more, prioritize myself more than I do. Uh, I tend to take care of everybody but myself. I'm a mom of three sons. I have two that still live with me. And my husband and I are both teachers. And so we all tend to keep going, 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 and taking care of everybody except ourselves. So I really needed to hear that I need to do a better job taking care of myself. Uh, I thought it was very good. I thought it was paced very well. I love the discussion, mm -hmm. people being able to talk and share their feelings and what they expect or need from each other as well as what they need to do for themselves. Listen, I work with these people every day and I can see the struggle and I wanted them to get a message to let them know that it's okay for them to choose themselves. I want them to take care of themselves. I want them to love themselves and I want them to know as their principal, I love them and I challenge them to choose themselves and stop feeding and giving people from the cup and feed people from the saucer. Come through. Come through. Yeah. I love the presentation. Um, I love that the nuggets that you gave to the staff was valuable and something that they can actually implement tomorrow. Like they can actually go home and reflect on what does it mean to choose me? What does it mean to say no? What does it mean to prioritize myself? And not necessarily by putting things on a calendar, but that I can choose me and it's okay. I am the beloved. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, be loved. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.